This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, if successive discounts of 20% and 10% are applied to an item priced at $20, what is its final sales price? All right, so in this case, we have to be aware of the fact that we're calculating successive discounts. The word successive means one after another. So first, we're going to calculate our discount of 20%, and then after that, we'll calculate our discount of 10%. The way you cannot solve this one is by saying, well, there's a discount of 20% and there's a discount of 10%. So I'm just going to take 30% off the item. If you solve it this way, you will get the wrong answer. In fact, one of the answer choices is set up so that if you solve it this way, you'll get it wrong. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate our sales price. Again, sales price is always going to be equal to your original price minus your original price times your discount amount. Our original price in this case is $20. So this becomes 20 minus 20 times. Our first discount is 20%, which I'm going to express using the decimal point two. Uh, so let's go ahead and work this out. We have 20 times 0.2. I'm going to work this off to the side so as not to make a mistake. Again, 20 times 0.2. I have to move the decimal and point two one time to the right to make this 20 times two, albeit with one decimal to move back into the left. Two times zero is zero. Two times two is four bring our one decimal back in. This becomes 20 minus four. Uh, 20 minus four is 16. All right, so we applied our discount of 20%. Now let's go ahead and apply our discount of 10%. Again, we're gonna use the sales price formula. That's gonna be equal to original price minus the original price times the discount amount. Now, instead of using $20, we're actually gonna use $16 as our original price. So this becomes 16 minus 16 times our discount amount of 10%. We're going to express 10% as the decimal point one. Now, I know many of you could do this math mentally, but so as not to make a mistake, I'm going to do it off to the side. We have 16 times point one. Again, move this decimal one time to the right to make this 16 times one, albeit with one decimal to move into the left. One times six is six. One times one is one. Bring in our one decimal. This becomes 16 minus $1.60. And even if you can do that mentally, I recommend you work things out off to the side on test day. This is 16 minus $1.60. Zero, zero minus six we can't do, so we have to borrow. This becomes five. This becomes 10. 10 minus six is four. Drop down our decimal. Five minus one is four. One minus nothing is one. So we can see that after successive discounts of uh, 20% and 10% uh, respectively, our final sales price is going to be 1440.